these songs they are singing have been sung by legends every note counts so my strategy is if you're saying you're singing super beauty for instance sing it in total you know, i'm the only one that is not a coach here. so the question is are you satisfied <laughs> I remember for the past two weeks or three weeks, I have been saying, where is NATO C? Where is NATO C? Apparently, the answers to my questions are here. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Lucy's Quick One, talking about the Voice Nigeria season four. Now, I would say for this episode, I would love it for you to also chip in as much of your thoughts as I would chip in mine, because I don't know, there's just a lot going on in my mind. So let's talk about the voice nigeria the battles talking about team nato c so first of all you know this episode aired on the first of april so i was already thinking some april fool was gonna happen when i saw the teaser before the show started i saw the teaser and i saw nice and i was like i've been fooled twice i was fooled <laughs> i was fooled twice <laughs> oh my god and so i was thinking this was the icing on the cake talking about the voice but when the show started i wasn't fooled so here is the thing apparently nito c has some things going on he's unavoidably absent apparently there's some things going on so he couldn't be there for the battles however he did have some behind the scene communication with his teammate the song we're going to be working on so for this episode we're going to be having the guest coach who is nice take the place of NATO C and judge the contestants from Team NATO C. Do you understand? So let's go into it. Starting off the show was Jennifer and Fatima. They were singing Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me by Elton John. So because I was still feeling some type of way, I wasn't sure what these guys were going to give. However, ladies and gentlemen, this is their performance. <laughs> I would just say Fatima has this element of oddity. There's something very interesting yet unassuming about Fatima. And I love that she showcased that while she was singing. Uh, Jennifer, on the other hand, also is quite unassuming, but she has this very deep, homely voice. See, let me tell you, it was a beautiful performance. I loved the duet. It was like, it got me my feelings. I was like, ah, ah, what's going on here? <laughs> Listening to the judges give their comments on the performance, I would really go with above all YJ. I, I even love the fact that we had someone like Praise. You know, Praise is very detailed about when he wants to give his comments. So for Praise to say that that was an amazing performance, you know that that was an amazing performance. The words aren't just enough to describe what I just felt right now. <laughs> and it was absolutely amazing. Woo! I, I also felt like Fatima at some point wasn't like pitching as best as she could. Jennifer was chosen. Fatty, you know I love you, Abby. Yeah. You're from my place now, you know. <laughs> But I'll take Jenny. I mean, remember, apart from what happened last week about Team Niola, where she said, you know what, all of you that were not chosen, I'm sorry, I have to go with Gideon and Manuel. This time you get to vote back one person. So yes, Jennifer was chosen and Fatima taken behind the scenes to see if the audience would vote for her. Now moving on to the next contestant, I'm talking Nicole and Adana singing Dancing with a Stranger by Sam Smith and the money hey praise we need to talk oh shit wow you say <laughs> Somebody new. Ooh, baby, baby. <laughs> all right guys so yeah their performance was fair i'll give them a 60 70 100. it was fair it wasn't something i was expecting i was expecting more but I think maybe the flow between both of them was not so good. However, that intro just got me. I was like, ah, what's that? Dancing with a stranger. I'll go with Nicole. Still. To be honest, I was very indifferent about the choice. The person that was chosen, that was Nicole. I was like, any of them was fine by me, honestly. But one thing I would like to note is how YG 
likes to put her, herself in the shoes of these contestants and she's like always giving them perspire to aspire to require don't worry you would acquire all those kind of things okay i know i know i did that but i i love the fact that she's always encouraging the contestants you just like i love it i just love it moving on to the third contestant for the voice nigeria talking about team need to see we are talking amaka and star so you see these two girls they are people that when i watched them at the knockout i was like these girls are gonna go really far because number one for amaka she has this very daring stare that i'm like it just reeks and speaks confidence and for star she looks like somebody who cannot really talk but when she speaks you're like okay guys they were performing the song wild thoughts by rihanna take a look this way just like it came for me that performance was short for me and somehow i feel like maybe they were not really feeling it you know amaka already has a kind of style of music but the versatility about the show is that you have to be versatile like any song can be thrown to you so you just have to like move with whatever you are given especially with the fact that you are going to the live shows where <laughs> anything can just happen however guys listen to the judges speak i was like okay you know i wanted you to have the mic right in front of, right your, in front mouth. of your mouth you know but it was just everywhere you know so most times we're not even hearing what you were singing yeah. i didn't get i didn't get any performance from you vocally so to be honest their, their performance got me vibing it was short yes i said that but i love the fact that even when they were singing i was like okay wah, 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 that's, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> at the end of the day guys amaka was chosen and she was chosen because according to the judges star didn't use her microphone well she didn't like we didn't know what she was offering at that point in time put that mic in your mouth sit down she got one yeah sit down sing with the mic in your mouth because Just she sing sat, the best she line. Out so well I you started like so well it. but yeah but, but you are doing it now but the game we don't finish now i like the fact that at the end of the day even though star wasn't chosen i love the vibe that she had the vibe of i'm happy i got here this far somehow i feel like she's somebody that might be coming back when it comes to team need to see and she will not be making that mistake of not using her microphone properly last but not the least for tonight guys this girl this 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 girl okay her name is adiola and then we had brian <laughs> it was very eventful let me say it like that because this song is not something i'm used to so Yes, their song is You Somebody. And for Adiola, she has this very sweet. <laughs> oh God. I think I'm blushing. You can check. She has this very sweet voice. And if I were to be her friend, every time she speaks, I think I'll be blushing all through. Even when she's angry, like, what's your problem? I, I will not be angry at her because, oh my God. Anyways, I love their duet. It was so powerful. I would like to say that they complimented each other. Brian has this husky, baritone, romantic voice, and Diola, hey, Diola. I was really shocked because Adiola from way back is not the Adiola that we saw. She, the voice that she gave, even like what you said, represents what we call the voice. Like what? Diola went hundred, hundred. Trust me. So, is Diola going on to the live show? It was just very obvious who they were going to pick. Because even before Nice spoke, I was like, it's Adiola, it's Adiola. And of course, Adiola was picked. Guys, that means that we have Fatima, Adana, Star, and Brian waiting for your vote coming the live. So, who are you going to be voting for? Let me know in the comment section. Also, I'd like to know what you think about Nice. Just in case, because the way I'm saying things, anything is very possible. However, I really hope that Need to See is fine. But let me know what you think about Nice and how he gave his verdicts as regards the contestants and their performance. Let me know down there in the comment section who do you think will be coming back. Who are you rooting for from Team Need to See? I kind of like expect, expected more, but it's okay. Let's see how it goes in the lives. For now, I'm still seeing Team Yola and probably Team Waje. 
a little bit of team praise and also team need to see okay it's all right <laughs> i didn't really pick anybody let me know down there in the comment section till next time guys right here on this is quick one i say thank you so much for watching have an amazing new week and remember to enjoy every moment bye